Welcome back to ABC4 News Midday. Whole Goal Zoo is where we are, and we are joined by one of my most favorite peeps at the zoo here, Miss Erica Hansen here, PR Director for Whole Goal Zoo. Erica, we've had a few things with meerkats earlier, but now we've got something extra special coming our way, do we not? Right, we have to meet two new warthogs, and I want to turn your attention to the warthogs right away because they're okay. out, and as you know, the animals can kind of come and go as they see fit. These are two brothers. They came to us from the San Diego Wildlife Park. They're about one years old, so they're still really young. You can see their little tusks are barely breaking the surface. Those tusks can grow up to be two feet long, believe it or not. I don't want to be caught in those. No, they still have quite a bit of growing to do. So they're such an interesting species. They can run up to 30 miles per hour, believe it or not. They're born with these rough calluses. Oh, they always do that right on camera. Oh, hey, shame, shame, shame. That. They have no dignity. Um, they're born with these rough little callus pads right on their wrists. So they bend their hands backward like this to get drinks of water and that kind of thing. So you're looking at this kind of funny fence. This is our howdy process. It kind of protects them from the giraffes and zebras till they all get really comfortable with each other. Okay. And then we'll take that fence down and they'll just roam and live out on the African savanna. Oh, this is what I kind of consider kind of the keystone exhibit of Hogel Zoo. I come in, I ride the train, I come around. This is the one I know best, right? The zebras. We've got emu or ostrich. I always, I can never That's forget. Ostrich. And then, of course, we've got baby Georgetta, the giraffe. She was featured in People Magazine, so she's kind of a superstar. Oh, look at you. We also do daily giraffe feedings here, so if you want to get up close, just five bucks, you give each a lettuce, and they wrap those big, long tongues and pluck that lettuce out of your Ooh, head. speaking of five bucks, though, I heard here in a couple of weeks we can come in $5 cheaper, can we not? This is exciting. June 18th is KTVX Viewer Appreciation Day. Go to your website, ABC4, uh, ABC4 News, ABC4 com, now, ABC4 dot com, of course, and get the coupon and then bring it up. You could show it on your phone or print it out, and that gets you $5 off each admission June 18th. That's a Tuesday. So listen to that. $5 to feed. You could save the five and then use it to meet and greet some of our new animals here. We also have uh, other things we can view as we're walking around. There's a neat little exhibit there too, right? That's right. We have a new exhibit this summer called Wash to Shore. These are 13 art sculptures made completely out of trash found in our oceans. So it's a little bit of a gut punch when you stand and look at it, but it's all kids are loving spotting sand shovels and water bottles and bottle caps and all these familiar objects objects sure. um, and that's here through September. Oh, that is amazing. All these new things. Take a look at our warthogs here, and we'll give you the rest of the African safari. Right now, we'll get back to you, Erica, in a minute. But a little weather, a look from the JD by Rider Cam, the by Rider Cam. And we've got storms, and we have a, these dark clouds looking, but I don't think it's much storm activity moving back in Salt Lake Valley. It's just a little bit of rain activity coming off the Oakers right now. Nothing like this morning. We were hoping those storms were going to rain us out for the meerkats and the warthogs today, and it's held off. Take a look at what's going on with our real-time temps. It is warm across the state. Now, the breeze has picked up too. So all across we're looking for south winds today and all across Utah, I should say, 15-25 higher gusts. Now along with the heat we're expecting we could be upper 80s today and that's by this afternoon a little bit later but that could pose the risk for severe storms with the heat, the winds, as so we're expecting more of those to continue. So what's called an marginal risk to a slight risk of storms expected northern Utah. Salt Lake is in that yellow slight risk and farther north. What do we mean? Lightning, heavy rain, main threats, but then could find wind gusts over 58 miles per hour, maybe some hail to the size of dimes and nickels. The timing of these storms today after 2 p.m. Be weather aware, as we would say. If you're at the zoo, good news, you're in good hands. They'll tell you what to do, but it's always good to know what the weather is with an ABC4 pinpoint weather app. We go into Thursday into Friday, or this is Thursday, we go into Friday into Saturday. Cold front still could come through tomorrow and will and could spark a storm. I don't think it's as numerous in the sphere threat, not like what it is today. So still watch that last potential. But after the front's through, we're watching for a much cooler weekend today. The only storm chances central and south are going to be over the Wasatch Severe Plateau, maybe towards the Tintix, maybe as you head towards around the... Pavance as well. That's about the only storm chance I see. The rest of our forecast beyond calls for dry days. Central and southern Utah ahead. I want to jump right to our seven-day forecast here for St. George and show you that you got a hot day. Breezy, warm conditions, upper 90s here today. The front comes through but doesn't bring you any rain. Southern Utah, Cedar City, Moab, St. George, you're all dry, but you will cool a little bit, St. George, to about upper 80s for this weekend to near 90. We go into the Salt Lake City Wasatch front forecast. We are looking upper 80s today. Threat for severe storms after 2 p.m. And then tomorrow, front comes through. Could be as cool as 70s if the front's through earlier. It could be 80s if it's through a little bit later. Saturday may not be the most ideal pool day in June. We're looking for lower 60s, if not around 60. 
But by Sunday, looking much better weather for a whole Zoo visit. We're sunny. We're near 70 degrees. Erica, thank you so much for having us out here Absolutely. today. Thanks for coming. We will look forward to that ABC4 News Appreciation Day, Tuesday the 18th, June 18th. We'll see you then.